This LOS is described the production function approach to analyzing the sources of economic growth. Economic growth and sustainability. Economic growth depends on labor productivity. We can see the relation between production and economy and labor productivity by starting with the production function. So recall here's the production function y equals a times f to the uh, brackets l um, comma k where y is the aggregate, uh, the level of aggregate output, a is the technological knowledge, f indicates a functional relationship between l is the quantity of labor and k is the capital stock, that is property, plant, and equipment, and land used to produce goods and services. So we've seen the production function before. So now what we're going to do is we're going to divide uh, each side by l. So you can see y divided by l equals a times f, to the one, because L divided by L equals one, uh, comma, K divided by L. So therefore, the productivity relative to uh, labor depends on the level of the labor force, the level of capital investment, and the mix of labor and capital. So we're just gonna do a couple of practice questions to finish this LOS. So an economic forecasting firm has estimated the following equation from historical data based on the neoclassical growth model. The potential output growth equals 1.5 plus 0.72 times the growth of labor plus 0.28 times the growth of capital. The intercept 1.5 in this equation is best interpreted as A, the long run sustainable growth rate, B, the growth rate of the total factor productivity, or C, above trend historical growth that is unlikely to be sustained? Okay, that's a good question. B is correct. The estimated equation is the standard solo growth accounting equation. The intercept is the growth rate of total factor productivity. So potential output growth, total factor productivity, plus a 0 0.72 times the growth of labor, plus 0 0.28 times the growth of capital. And one last practice question to finish this LOS. So again, it's an economic forecasting firm has estimated the following equation from historical data based on the neoclassical growth model. So it's the same equation. Potential output growth equals 1.5 plus 0 0.72 times the growth of labor plus 0 0.28 times the growth of capital. So the coefficient on the growth rate of labor, the 0 0.72 in this equation, is best interpreted as A, the labor force participation rate, B, the marginal productivity of labor, or C, the share of income earned by labor? Okay, that's a good question because it's important to understand what the coefficients are. So C is correct. In the standard solo growth accounting equation, the coefficient on each factor's growth rate is its share of income. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.